Hey everybody, welcome to Studio 67. Today we've got a kind of short video, but um, I wanted to do a video on how I record electric guitar. We've done a video on acoustic guitar, how I do it, and uh, of course I mic it with a condenser mic. We spoke about that. But this one's on um, the, how I do my how I play do the electric guitar. Here in Studio One we have what you call Empire. I don't really use that. I think it's a good tool. It's a very good plug-in that comes with Studio One. But I don't I don't really prefer to use it. I like to I'm more of an organic recording person. I like to use um I don't do any MIDI work much um at this point. So I like to record my instruments as they are. I've tried miking my guitar and it does good, but I think in this small area that I record in, in this studio here, it's not the best choice. Um so what I do is just run direct. I run out of my board. And I'm going to show you that little setup right now. And uh, before we get started with the music. Okay. Well, hope it don't get you dizzy. Anyway. Here's my board. All my pedals. My Riverside and all my other good stuff here. And uh, this is my live gig and pet, um, pedal board. What I do is I run out of my board and I go in to my Personas AR-16 board and then I run from there and I run straight into the uh, recording dial, okay? And of course it goes through my Scarlet interface, it's just the way I choose to record. I have an interface within this board, but I don't use it. We may do a video on that in the future, but right now this is the way it is. So what I do is I run into there and then I set my channel up, you know, I set what channels I want. So if you can see this pointer here, if I can see it, it'd be nice. There's uh, the rhythm guitar track and that's the uh, lead guitar track. It's a little blues thing that I put together for this so you could just hear, you know, what I'm doing. And the quality of it, it's all clean. It's all clean guitar sound. No effects. It hadn't been, it's not even a wonderful, <laughs> believe me, it's not even a wonderful recording. It's just something I wanted to do for this to show you what I do. And, uh, and I use a number of electric guitars. Got PRS and I've got my Telecaster. And they all serve their own purpose. They have their own dis different sounds. I don't keep just one guitar laying around. I, I pretty much use them all. And uh, for different projects. And I'm going to show you what I've done here. And we're going to talk about it. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. It, work, it comes out good. I've got in here I've got the rhythm guitar going to the left speaker and the uh, a little bit into the right and then I've got the lead totally in the right speaker so it's running through I got it all panned to that and I like that sound I like to separate it kind of like two guys playing in a room at the same time um, but that's just the way I do it and I like to do that and it, I think it comes out really well I mean for me and it's something you might want to try I mean, it's, uh, and always remember to record anything that you're doing on here, in my opinion, minus 12.5 dB, and that'll be, that'll keep you from, from, uh, um, clipping, <laughs> I couldn't find the word for a second, I had a brain venture there for a minute. But yeah, it, uh, but you'll be able to actually, you, you can always just um, experiment with what you like. If you like Empire, do it. But this is just the way I do it. And for me at this point, it's been really working well. Um, like I said, I'm, I like to record organically. I like to record like the instruments just like they are. I'm a real big fan of um, the old school recording, you know, where everybody played at the same time, you know. And, 
they mess up, you have to go back, you know. So I kind of dragged this into that, even though I'm the whole band now in here. Um, but just keep in mind, all you have to do is just uh, experiment with it and uh, get your sound the way you like it. And like I said, run direct out of your pedal board and uh, run into your, the, to your board that you're going to run through to go to your record, recording down. And uh, the one thing I haven't tried is uh, running from my board, my pedal board, in, right into a scarlet one into it. So I just do what I'm doing here and it works, you know. So, and I think it, it would work good for you if you'd like to do that. But it's um, one thing about make sure your levels are really good. Um, you don't ever want to clip, you know, if you clip, you can't go back. That's one thing for sure. You cannot go back in this stuff when you clip. I mean, pretty much you got to do it again, you know? So um, I'm using my phone, as you can tell, because I'm dragging it around everywhere. But um, yeah, just, just keep in mind to get your levels right, record them right, and it'll be clean. This track here that you heard, I have not done any kind of um, mastering or mixing or mastering or nothing until it's just straight through like it is but you know we were talking about in previous videos to make sure that you have a good performance whether it be vocals drums bass guitar acoustic electric whatever it might be keyboards just make sure your levels are right negative minus 12.5 db has been my sweet spot with all my recordings um it's worked really well for me um you can leave me in the comments what maybe you've done but uh, it does work good, and I think that, you know, if we stick to this, uh, to this arrangement here, it works really fine for it, um, even with punching in or, you know, pre-roll, as we call it in Studio One here. Punching in, I think, was uh, Pro Tools, I think so, yeah. Um, that's what I, most of my albums have been recorded through Pro Tools um, over the years. But just keep in mind, just keep your music, man. Just there's one, there's one rule in music that you need to remember. That there's no rules. And so if you like it, it sounds good to your ears, and that's what it needs to be. And uh, because keep in mind, this is your craft. This is what you're doing, you know. And you you call this as you want to call it, you know. If it sounds good to you, it feels good to you, and you got a couple of friends around say, oh, it sounds great, then go with it. Use it as it is and let it be, you know. So we're going to take one more listen to this before we jump off of here, but I just want to do a quick video for you doing this. And, uh, and this is it. no reverb in this I haven't used anything I do have a little small delay effect on the guitar which like I said I don't really need to add any plugins to it because I just like to run the way I run it and it works for me and uh it's just what it is so but you guys just stay in here with me and and uh gonna keep making good music we got some new stuff gonna be coming out me and my co-writer's been writing some stuff and uh, we're gonna try to get a new EP out here in the future not gonna give any landing dates yet we haven't even written all the songs yet so but yeah I'm liking the sound though it sounds pretty good to me anyway like I said the rule is what you like. So if it works for me, then I think it'll work for you. I always had this saying in music, I said, if I feel it, you will too. So that's what I try to live with that rule. But until the next time, my friends, just keep in mind, 
Be kind and keep making good music. Because music rules the world. It's a universal language. out there be safe and we'll see you next time right here in studio 67 <laughs>